This National Day of Prayer is probably more important than other National Days of Prayers that we have held as a nation recently. We are lifting up today all of those affected by the coronavirus pandemic. I'm standing in front of the Troy Regional Medical Center and most certainly we lift them up today as well as all the hospitals across our nation for they are the ones who are on the front lines making sure that everyone can have a healing touch and overcome this challenge that is before us. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. In Matthew chapter 7, it tells us that we are to ask and we will receive, to seek and we will find, and to knock at the door and it will be open. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks at the door, the door is open. We are facing a closed door for so many people today, keeping them from enjoying life and doing the things that they need to do. We lift up and we pray for our hospital staff today, knowing that they are doing their best, that they have been trained and blessed with medical skills, and we pray, Lord, also uh, that they would have words of wisdom and comfort for those who are undergoing treatment. We know that there's more to just the physical body, there is the spiritual body, as they minister to the spirit of those who are separated from their loved ones because they cannot have visitors in the facility to make sure that the virus does not spread. We pray for so many others that are working in the hospital. We know of the nurses and the doctors, but there are others there too. There is the medical director and the support staff for the entire hospital. Janitorial services doing extra work to make sure that everything is clean so that the virus will not spread. We pray for those who are working in the kitchen to make sure that everyone is fed. And beyond the hospital, we pray for the nursing homes. Uh, we know that the virus is finding its place into these facilities. We pray for all those who are working there for their safety. Uh, we pray, Lord, for our first responders, for our emergency medical teams that are going out there uh, to find people uh, that are under duress, that are having physical problems, and taking them to be treated. Uh, we pray for our chaplains in our hospitals, in our police departments, and in our fire departments. Uh, they are in very uh, different situations. Their ministry is challenged now uh, because they not only minister to the patients, but they work, minister to the staffs who are often overworked, Lord, now and, and going through great stress. Uh, we pray for our chaplains and the staff in the prison systems today uh, because indeed with the great congestion, those are areas of great concern. So Lord, we're knocking at the door in this prayer today, this national prayer, and saying, Lord, open the door to healing and victory and let this pass. Let us no longer be dealing with this coronavirus because we know when we call out in the name of Jesus Christ, we can claim victory. And we know that Jesus is also known as the great physician. Let his healing hand be upon our land this we pray in Jesus' name, amen.